Now, Section 27 launched a social media campaign on the 1st of September, urging President Cyril Ramaphosa to sign the Copyright Amendment Bill by the 21st of September, as Parliament had until then to finalise the bill, leaving the President with just five days. We speak to Christo de Klerk, who's President of Blind SA for more. Christo, very good evening to you. Thank you for your time. The clock is essentially ticking for President Cyril Ramaphosa to finalise that bill. Let's perhaps expand on the significance of the bill and what's at stake. Thank you. Good evening to you and to the viewers. Two years ago, the Constitutional Court found the uh, Copyright Act of 1978 to be unconstitutional in that it does not provide for copyright exemptions to make material accessible to blind persons, in other words, to allow us to put it into braille, large print, audio, or electronic formats which are accessible uh -huh. without having to grovel before uh, publishers for permission, a permission which in nine out of ten uh, cases we did never get. So the court found that unconstitutional and it crafted uh, section 13A to be read into the, the old act to provide those exemptions for us, but that is restricted uh, to local publications and it, it does not include international exchange. Uh, to have international exchange, uh, we need the ratification of the Marrakesh Treaty which came into existence already 11 years ago. It has been ratified by about 128 countries, 30 African countries, but not us, because our country, our government believes that they need the legal framework first uh, to be able to ratify the Marrakesh Treaty. Mm -hmm. Now, the Copyright Amendment Bill contains Section 19D, which would provide the, uh, the legal framework. But that's has been heavily disputed. I must say, uh, uh, government itself, uh, the National Assembly did their work. They finished it in time. They adopted the bill. They passed it to the president for his signature. Mm -hmm. But it's now been lying with him for six months already. The time expires. And that's why I'm here this evening. That's why we have the campaign to try and put some pressure on the president to stop delaying to, 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 to sign the copyright amendment bill so that government can get on, ratify the Marrakesh Treaty and thereby alleviate, yeah. alleviate our book famine. In trying to put this pressure on the president, I mean, you've given him uh, essentially five days to ensure that this bill is signed into law. What is your understanding on some of the reasons behind the delay? Has there been any communication just to get a sense and a better understanding of why it's taking so long? And what are some of the considerations that are being made in the, uh, behind the scenes? Uh, Section 27 wrote to the presidency okay. on our behalf requesting some feedback. Uh, when nothing came, they wrote again, and then the president spoke, uh, spokesperson responded that the president is aware of the matter, the bill is with their legal advisors who are examining the bill for uh, constitutional compliance, and that is far, as far as we got. Yeah. You, you spoke a bit about uh, Section 19D, which uh, provides the exceptions to transcribe reading material into uh, accessible formats like Braille, large print and audio. How will this be beneficial in accessibility? Because as you and I speak, it's a criminal offence to, to convert books into accessible formats without the consent of the copyright holder in terms of the Apartheid uh, Copyright Act. Yes, it's an absurd situation. I studied law, uh -huh. and in order to get my my law degree, I had to become a criminal, because many of the books I could not get copyright, or not in time in any event. So I had to make copies and get students and other people to convert them, to read them on, record them, and that sort of thing. 
So it's an absurd situation. Unfortunately, uh, now with uh, Section 13A, which has been read into the old Act, we have we have that right now for local publications, but not for the international exchange. The problem we are having that uh, uh, books may already be available in accessible format overseas, but we do not have access to them now because it's not permitted yet which means that we need to reinvent the wheel locally. We've got to make a book accessible, which already is. And if I can give you an example of the average novel, to convert that into Braille, would take approximately 28 days and would cost in the region of 24,000 Rand. Huh. So we'd have to spend that money at that time for something which is already available because the president hasn't signed a bill into law and hasn't ratified America's treaty. Mm. Should the president not meet the deadline, what action will follow? Um, our council is ready to progress with the legal action um, on the basis that uh, it's an undue delay and that the president is not doing his work with due diligence. Mm, mm, mm. And perhaps as we wind down our, our conversation and you've just emphasized and highlighted some of the pressing challenges that one would have to endure to, to get a law degree. And of course, this speaks to different segments of uh, and different demographics of those who are blind and cannot access reading material. If we had to look at the, the different tiers and the different demographics, how would you say, for instance, that this bill being signed into law will benefit um, someone living in a rural community, not having access to much, but of course uh, looking to, to better themselves and educate themselves? I can use the example of an online library with accessible books. It is called Bookshare. And MindSA provides free membership to that. And they have uh, about 1.1 million publications. Uh -huh. They have of everything there. So, you, you know, you can have free access to that if you're a blind person. But because our country has not ratified the Marrakesh Treaty, we have access to only about half of that. We have only two audio libraries in South Africa, but they together have approximately 40,000 books. But if we get the Marrakesh Treaty, then we'll have access to a million books free of charge. It, mm. it will just open worlds for people. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. Uh, a story that we will continue to keep an eye on. Thank you for your time, Christo de Klerk, President of Blind Essay.